A controversial new book on the Idaho student murders claims that one of the four college students killed was targeted. But the family of one victim calls it pure fiction, claiming the author never spoke to them. Howard Bloom's new book, When the Night Comes Falling, traces the months leading up to the murders. The book claims Madison Mojan was the original target of suspect Brian Koberger. This, as Koberger's trial, is now set to begin June 2nd of next year. Author Howard Bloom is here to answer some of those questions and the criticism. Thank you so much for joining me this morning on Morning in America. Good to speak with you. Absolutely. I've had an opportunity to watch and, and read some of your book there. Um, but before we get into your reporting, I want uh, to touch on the reaction from the parents of the victim, uh, Kaylee Goncalves. Now, they claim your book is based on conjecture and say, quote, all this book does is tell a story by Mr. Bloom, a version made up by him, relying on sources that have no responsibility or duty to speak the truth. Mr. Bloom, what's your response to the family and to critics concerned about your presentation of the facts? Well, first, I want to say about Mr. Goncalves and the family, you know, my heart goes out to, to them. I mean, how can I don't want to get into a, 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 a match going back and forth against a father who lost his daughter. I'm a father of three children, uh, a father. You know, he went and talked to the press and said, you send your daughter off to college. She comes back to you in an urn. How can one? go back and forth with him. However, let me direct some of the things he says. I say quite clearly in the book, I didn't speak with him. I did speak with his lawyer. I spoke with very many people, but he doesn't go to any specific facts that are wrong. He testified many times on television. He's from the beginning, he's criticized the police involved. He seems to be criticizing everyone involved. And again, I understand that. In my, in my book, I shape him as a rather heroic figure, someone who refuses to let his daughter's death path pass without retribution, without getting to the bottom of the th things. And I point out quite clearly how Steve has dug and dug and dug. I quote directly from the text he has sent. Uh, I quote directly from his interviews. He hasn't challenged any of the text or any of the interviews. And I think, to be candid, there's another element involved in all of this money. I was approached by uh, the Gonclavis lawyer about a movie deal. I considered this involving them in my movie deal. I decided I didn't want to go that way. I was trained as a New York Times reporter. I was nominated for two Pulitzers at the New York Times. The Times ethic is you don't pay for information, and it just didn't fit right for me. Uh, Did they make a, a, a movie deal, a book deal with someone else? Is that an element in all this? I don't know, but it, I was approached. And I also will say these attacks are dangerous. Uh, you know, he's writing a book about a killing. Well, there have been people who have been the uproar against me, the uproar against people associated with me at HarperCollins is a dangerous situation he is creating. And also, I'm on the same page with him in many events. I wrote about the delay in, in the trial. I wrote an op-ed editorial in the Washington Post. Well, four days later after that, there, the judge finally sets a trial date. I'm on his side, but I think he wants to control this story. And I'm sorry, there's a free press and we report on events. And if he doesn't like it, let him talk to specific facts and we'll engage with that. Mr. Bloom, you know I've got to ask you a couple of questions before I get you out of here. Um, I'm glad to hear that you say that you're not competing with the father, then you empathize uh, with what he's going through right now. Uh, there are no shortage of people trying to cash in on all of this. In your book, though, you talk about how you believe... I don't think cash in is the right word. I mean, I'm reporting on a story. Are you cashing in on the events that you, each, you covered, the trials you covered? I really resent that. I find that's a derogatory remark, and I think my book is, is a work of narrative, nonfiction, it has literary standards and, and journalistic standards, and cashing in is, is a wrong way. I, I've written 16 books, I tell stories, and none of them ever were an attempt to cash in. They were an attempt to do a writer's and a journalist's job. Mr. Bloom, it was not my intention to offend you, but I do want to get your reaction, though. You talked about at one point in your book, I do want to talk about this. You talked about how you believe that Mr. Kobarger's father possibly knew something was wrong. How did you come to that conclusion when you talk about that in your book, When the Night Comes Falling? I spoke to relatives who spoke with Mr. Koberger's father. What the FBI did is they put up, they created a family tree which led them to the Kobergers. 
I did the reverse. I walked back on that family tree and spoke to these relatives, and they gave me information about what people were saying and also people in the community in Pennsylvania. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.